Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my TBR as well as an announcement video for the Winter 2019 by Annual Little Bibliothon. I have been beyond honored to be picked as a blogger host for the past two rounds, last year's summer round as well as this year's winter round and I am, again, beyond honored to be doing this. Thank you so much to everybody over at the by Annual Bibliothon for picking me. It's been a blast when I did it last year in the summer. I cannot wait to do it again in the winter time. This readathon is happening from January 12th through the 18th and all the information for the readathon is linked down below for you guys to go check out if you are interested in joining us. But yeah, I am super duper excited for this winter round and I can't wait to share what I'm planning on reading with you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in and get started. So challenge number one is as always to read the group bucket for this readathon this round we are reading the empress of all seasons by amiko jean this is a new release i think it came out in december i could be completely wrong on that it is YA fantasy and it follows a world where every year there's this competition where there's basically four rooms and you have to complete each one of them they're all themed around the seasons and i think the winner gets chosen to be like the next empress or gets to marry the prince or princess something along those lines and there's a specific group of people who are kind of like shapeshifters who cannot enter this competition however our main character is one of those people and she enters anyways to kind of kill the king so that sounds really intriguing i love the cover for this book and i i'm intrigued so I'm excited to pick it up. Challenge number two is to read one of the host five star reads. So this is a list of books that the host provided to everybody that are basically books that they ended up giving five stars and they want you guys to read. So for this I am going with Strange of the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is a book that everybody on Booktube raves about. I've heard maybe one or two bad things about it and that's about it. So this is YA fantasy. It follows our main character Lazlo the Strange who is a librarian and a scholar and he's always been intrigued by this city called Weep. Now Weep is a city that has basically been forgotten, it's lost its name, nobody really knows what happened to it. And then one day Lazlo gets the opportunity to go to Weep when a group of travelers from the city comes to his town looking for people to bring there who are like the best at their craft. And it takes off from there. Like I said, I've been hearing fantastic things about this. It's intrigued me since the beginning and I'm also combining this challenge which challenge number seven, which is to read a book by an author you never read before. I have not read the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor that was released a few years ago. I've also heard fantastic things about that, so maybe if I enjoy this, I'll pick that up, but this is my pick for challenge number two and seven. Challenge number three is to read a book that got you into reading, or reread a book that got you into reading. And for this, I am going with Harry Potter in the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I love Harry Potter. That's no secret to anybody. It's my favorite series of all time for a reason. And it has been almost three years since I reread it. So I figured it was about time to reread it this sometime this year. And when I saw it was one of the challenges on the readathon list, that's when I decided I'm gonna read or reread this first book at least this month. So yeah, I'm so excited about rereading this. It's been so long and I've been in a really big mood to reread it so yeah I'm excited. Number four is to read a book from the adult genre and for this I'm going for For Better and Worse by Margot Hunt. This was a book of the month pick that I picked up a few months ago and this was really popular in the month that it was a book of the month pick and everybody seemed to be picking it up. I don't normally read for psychological thrillers and you guys know that it's not really my thing the last year 2018 I read a lot so I figured this sounded intriguing at the time when I picked it up and it still is so this is an adult psychological thriller it follows two main characters and they've been married for like forever and the wife kind of just wants out of the marriage it's kind of falling to shambles at this point and then she finds out some things about her husband that you know aren't so great and she decides to plan a plot to kill him and it takes off from there and it's basically all I know so that's intriguing also combining this with challenge number six which is to read a book with a cover you don't like this is not my favorite cover it's a little too bland for me it's not terrible by any means it's just not my cup of tea so we'll see what I think and challenge number five the final challenge is to combine your favorite genre with it with your least favorite format 
to read in or you can switch that around with your favorite format to read in and your least favorite genre so for this i am going with the first option which is my favorite genre and my least favorite format to read in which is going to be the girl king by Mimi Yoon. This is the chapter by chapter book club book of the month for the month of January. Chapter by chapter, if you guys are not familiar, is the book of I Run Over the Goodreads. The link is down below for you guys to go check out. But this is our pick for January. This is another YA fantasy book and it follows a couple of sisters who basically the older sister has always been destined to be the next heir to the throne. She's known to be the next empress of this kingdom. And one day their father decides that that's not going to be the situation he's actually going to pick their male cousin to be the next ruler and the older sister who was destined forever to be the next ruler decides to kind of throw away rebellion and the younger sister who's always been known to kind of be in her sister's shadow kind of not make a huge presence known is trying to decide if she wants to go with her sister or her father's side and it takes off from there like i said this sounds really really interesting and I'm really excited to pick it up and yeah can't wait to talk about it with you guys that's everything I'm gonna have for this video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already I post new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys are participating in the readathon and what you plan on reading as I would love to know and as I mentioned before all the readathon links will be linked down below for you guys to go check out along with all my social media links and with all being said I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video thanks for watching everybody bye